What's going on everybody? This is Captain Dr. Spock. We're back here in Gold Rush, the game. We were just kind of wrapping up the end of the night. I just wanted to, you know, enjoy that little bit of moon before it looks like it goes over the mountainside there. But we're going to click it on to the next day and get on with our adventure. Here we go. Okay, so when I left off, we were over here. Were we over here? Were you in here? I think we were in here digging. Yeah, because my buckets are here. Yeah, so let's... Let's take our buckets back over here, and we've got almost a half ounce here, so we're going to have to do a little bit more digging, and then we're going to go to town and buy some goodies. So I'll bring you guys back once I've got, uh, once I've got the mat filled with dirt, and yeah, I'll bring you guys back in just a minute. So the plan for today is is to make this whole process right here a little less painful because as of right now doing what we're doing is just I, I'm not gonna say it's you know not acceptable but I think there's just a better way to go about it you know and handling the dirt handling the the water, both of these, just not a, uh, how should I say it, not a prime ideal thing to do, yeah, but once I get this filled up, I'll bring you guys back, and we'll go pan this out, and then find out what we got in the pan. I was just thinking about it, guys. This is not technically, you know, the first tier of Panin. Well, I mean, in the game it is, but... Really, honestly, they should give us, like, uh... What's that called? Not a strainer, but basically, uh... A bucket with a screen in it. I can't remember the name of it, but... You dump your dirt inside of that, you got water in the bottom bucket. You dump your dirt in the screen, you shake the screen, shake the screen, dump the extra rocks out. And then you would technically put that through a sluice box. Um, or you can, well, I mean, that would be the easiest way to get the extra sands off. And then you take what you've got in a sluice box and you pan that. That'll be full of black sands and garnets and gold. Um... In fact, we'll have to give it. We'll have to run a run a test on something. We'll see if we can fill a bucket and then fill the pan and then pan the pan and see if we can get gold that way. In fact, let's just run that a test right now. Can I? No. Let's just go run this over here real quick and see if we can just take this straight. Run this straight. Oh, hey. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. Don't need no sluice box. You dig this right about the ground. I'm not gonna say it was a, a very big piece. Um, I mean, definitely. Uh, I guess what, 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 what would it be? Um, the concentration. Well, let's find out. And there is one little nug in that scoop. Get it down there, rinse it out. I think there's only going to be one one nug of pan. <gasps> Whoops. Yeah, and it's literally a... Um, 
it is a point zero zero ounce point zero zero ounce of gold is how small that little bit that I'm getting from that so I mean technically yes we could you know that's how you would technically start out is by putting it in the shovels or putting it in the buckets and then panning it out the hard way because this would be the hard way but I'm really glad to see that that's actually a thing that can be done you know you don't need the hog pan wash the hog pan wash makes everything really fast though it can you know consolidates the gold when you find it because oops wow I really need to remember my buttons here I bet I'm going to be saying that a lot once I get an excavator. Come here, you. Yeah, a little... Literally a little... Just grams of gold. Okay. We're going to get back to digging. We're up to 53%. I will bring you guys back once I have it completely done. As you know, I really enjoy this. There's one thing, another thing that I'm thinking about that's missing from gold digging in this than in when I do it. I haven't had to move one big rock at all. I'm not complaining. But I'm just saying, like, I've moved lots of big rocks just to get to the gold. The whole just nice fat chunk of pay dirt. I kind of like this. This is nice. Very nice. Ah, oh, yes. 100%. Okay, let's fill these buckets up. Here we go. Just as darkness is kind of falling on us here. There's the hundo. Grab up this mat. Wash it out. Grab up this mat. Ooh, ooh. Wash it out. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this bucket first. This should technically be our bigger gold because it was the first first mat in the pan. So we get our second bucket in here. Pan this all out. And I honestly we shouldn't it, we should only need about an ounce to get exactly what we're looking for here. A little eerie. There we go. Uh I think I forgot to dump the water out. Let's go ahead and pan this on up. Yeah, I see some nice nugs down in there. Yes, okay, now. Tip the water off. I know for a fact one of these is going to be some tweeze in action. Yeah, that's a nice fatty. That just actually brought me up a whole, you know, half ounce. I like that, okay. Perfect. Let's give it one quick check over. Nice. Okay. Put that there. Uh, we have a water dirt combo. I'll have to remember to empty the buckets. There we go. There we go. Oh man, there's some nice nugs in this one too. Only three nugs though. Oh, that was a nice size one. Oh, that was a really nice size one. That was an okay one. Very nice. Let's dump this off. Get the next pan full in. I think that's going to definitely be more than it enough that... Uh, that we need to get our next operation of mining done which will be a hog pan with a pump which means buying hoses the pump the hog pan with the pump and um, fuel I want to say also fuel yes yeah, very nice okay let's put that away one last check through nothing put that away This should be the last dump for this bucket. 
I think. Yep. No, oh, just walking around with it was agitating it. Okay. Clear this off. Pick that guy out of there. Hmm. This ain't a bad return. This ain't a bad return. I have a feeling it's going to take us to the one ounce mark, which would be perfect, because that's about the amount that we need. Now we're on to the second bucket. Here we go. Pan this up. Come on now. Clean that water off. Gotta be able to see what I'm working with here. Ooh hoo! Nice. And oh. That was an okay. That was an okay pan. I have a good feeling this will bring us right to an ounce. Three little gold nuggets down in there. Oops. I always hit the wrong button. Oh, there was a... A little hundredth gram ounce of gold right there. Perfect. Dump those guys off. Once I get this panned up... Oh! I lost a little rock. There we go. Oh, oh, there was four in this one. Nice! That's what I'm talking about right there. That was it. You're lucky. I've never seen anything like that. The biggest gold nugget I've seen in four years. Forty years. Whoopsie. This is mine an experience. So... Okay. Why does it say reject? Forty ounces. Okay. Well... That is definitely more than enough. Um, do I even need to finish out? Yeah, let's finish out this painting. Well, that's... I didn't expect to be walking away with that much. Okay, that was the last... This will be the last pan. I knew there was a nice nug in that bucket. Oh, there's another, another four one. Okay, cool. This is nice. What are we getting here? Another hundredth, tenth, twenty. Ooh. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, let's go. Uh, let's go make some gold bars. Or a gold bar, I guess, really, right? It's dark out. I'll make it daytime and let's go do this. And okay. Now that we're back in town. So I discovered if I don't look down the road as I come up here to the miners, it won't be as leggy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, the only problem is, is I'm not watching the road, so... Maybe I was wrong. No, there we go. We've loaded in. Okay. Yeah, if I look from where the camera is, you know, not facing, it gets super laggy for some reason. So we're just going to roll right on in here, just like that. Talk to thy blacksmith. Make me a 40 ounce bar of gold. Oh, yeah, see, I told you. I look back towards that. Oh. Plop that down in the back of the truck, because, you know, who, uh, who else, who would, who would, you know, who would put that in the cab? You just throw that in the back. 
skull that's rugged. Came out of the ground. Doesn't need to go in the cab of a truck. Let's roll on down to the bank here, though. Little leggy. Sorry about that. And we don't actually need to even touch the gold itself from here. We just walk up to the bank. Sell gold bars. In fact, we're going to actually take a quick peek at the stock. Oh, the menus are rough. Menus are really rough. Let's see here. So, gold's not plummeted, but it's getting down there. So, let's sell this while we can. Can you get some? Oh, yes. Yes, the sweet, sweet money. Now, most people would probably instantly go buy excavators and stuff like that. Well, not today. Not today. One second. So, with our newfound riches... We are going to buy us a small water pump, add the second half of our sluice box, add, and, see this is what we got, this is what we want, we're going to get one of these, add, and then we can't forget there are two extra mats, okay, let's go, uh, I'm going to need a jerry can, too. Let's go ahead and purchase that, throw that in the back of the truck. 560 bucks to get that all set up. Not bad. Oh, actually, I... I'm forgetting some things here. Um... Hey. Yeah, I'm forgetting a couple of things. I'll run back into the store real quick. Grab those items up. Come on. Okay, cool. You're you're in there. Come here, you. Throw you in there. Throw you in there. Get the jerry can in there. Jerry can just slips right on in there so nicely. Now we come back over here. We can't forget. We need to be able to actually get the water out of the creek. A water to the pump. Uh, no, not a water, but the water to the pump. And a way to filter out any rocks or stuff that might get into the pump. And... There we go, another 65 bucks, so technically like $275, I'd want to say if I remember correctly. What's that? Come here. Nope. There we go, see, now I can't lose that. Grab up my other hose. Close! Close! What, what? What's the malfunction here? Is it the jerry can? I knew it was the jerry can. Okay. I will meet you guys over at the gas station in just a moment. Okay. And we're going to set this up, but we're actually not going to do any more mining for the day. Um, once we get back. Oh, what am I thinking? I'm at a gas pump. Oh, wrong with me. Okay, where is... Take this. Jump up here. Come on now. I know you want the fuel. Put this back. Drop the tailgate. Wanna play games like that with me, huh? 
I have to... No, I didn't think so. We're just going to fuel the jerry can up. Blink. And then fuel this up. Because, you know, why would I not? I'm already here. And I think those are the only things in the back of the truck at the moment that take fuel. Uh oh. Then why not just top the truck off? There we go. And now everything's happy with fuel. Um, these hoses and stuff, though, these are not happy. In fact, they're quite upset. Perfect. Okay. I'll meet you guys back at the, uh, the parcel. And here we are. Where? There it is. Pull back up to this. Get out. Let's unload this stuff out of here. Pretty sure I got everything I'm gonna need for... That doesn't need to go. Oh! 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 That's one way to get a, uh, bump out. Okay, so... Come over here. Take this off. Throw... Oh! Oh! I was gonna say throw it down, but... Put that there. We're going to go throw this in the tent. Because, you know, take care of your equipment. In fact, we're going to put it right... Here. Yep, perfect. Oh, no. Not perfect. There we go. That's perfect. Come back over here. Grab up our sluice. Let's finish building the sluice. Put that down. Take the mats. Ooh. Put the mats in there. It's weird that I didn't even need all this stuff to get that big gra big old nugget of gold. But I'll accept it. That's what it is. Ooh. Wrong side of the fence. Wrong side of the fence there. Pick up this pump. And since I don't like to listen to a bunch of loudy noise, loud noisy pumps right next to my workstation, we'll put that there. Take this fella here into the out, drop it into the creek. Ooh, there we go. That feels better in the middle, in the middle. I didn't just didn't, didn't feel right being in the side like that. Come back over here, attach this fella. Ooh, attach this fella right there over to y'all okay and yeah that's we're gonna put this over here i just had to make sure that i was doing everything right gonna put my jerry can there and perfect so we come over here hook that up starts putting the water down and now we're just shoveling straight into the machine as fast as we can get it in there so when we come back because we're gonna call it here when we come back we're gonna dig up some more of this get some more gold because I know that at 47 looks like a lot but it's just not as much as you would really think it would go well, let's go turn this off real quick But, I want to thank you all for stopping in today. Hit that like button, subscribe if you enjoyed, and comment down below letting me know if you guys... Oh, come here, buckets. Come on, out of the ground. I have noticed this is something that happens. You just kind of have to wriggle them up out of the ground. I don't... Yeah, 
anyway. Thank you all for stopping in. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. And, uh, there we go. Got my bucket back. And, yeah. I will catch you all on the flip side. This is Captain Dr. Spock, signing out.